you have a shaven body but actually life is easier for women when they have a shaven body so why wouldn't they why wouldn't we do that well that doesn't make you any less of a feminist because you shave your legs because actually your life is easier when you shave your legs anyway in uh, so many aspects life gets easier for you and not only that everyone's doing it so why would you not when people Maybe. are going to make comments about it like it, you should you should be allowed to do that without being dragged down by other women and because that, that's the that's the thing in women it's it's other women that are often a big I've said that a on this podcast. What, what were you, what, with, what were you we going to say then, Aiden? I was just going to say maybe also some people just like it as well. What? No, that, that's what I said. Like what? Just shaving the legs? Just, just yeah, the, 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 that's well, what I'm well, saying. Well, I, I was going to point out there, you know, I've said it on this podcast before that, you know, um, it's... It's not as clean cut as like one thing. I, I understand that. Behaviours um, that are kind of... Um, outside of beliefs you know like they're not driven by beliefs like to shave your legs is not necessarily some moral um kind of dialogue you have to have with yourself it's yeah. like a choice to be what you often it will be a perception of cleanliness it'll be a perception of you know um hygiene or see it's, it's interesting that you say that because do you know why women shave didn't you know when it started when it started, do you know why? Do you know why we shave? Do you know why women shave? Because of Playboy magazine. No, because after during the war, the Gillette, I think it was Gillette, a, a big razor brand, mm-hmm. couldn't sell razors because men were away, so they couldn't sell as many. So they started advertising it towards women. Is this saying, Edward Bernays at it again? Is it? Huh? Edward Bernays behind that? I don't know. Maybe he was he, uh, war. T- yeah. It'd be interesting uh, so, to so, find so out. So it became so a marketing ploy, it, an advertising yeah. ploy to keep the sales going. And, and it was and it was marketed as towards as women that. as being you would be you would basically be more sexy if you had shaven shaven a shaven body. Okay, pause there. Is that true? Well, you only know once it you once you I don't know you I don't even know what's as true. we sit here today. Would you say by and large people w- would find it attractive for females to be? It's hard to say it now because we our expectation done it for so is long. so is so yeah, rigid. Yeah, it's like yeah. ingrained in us. Like mm. I remember being fourteen and it's my mum teaching me how to immac my legs. Like, right. but I also remember, ironically, uh, Helen getting very cross with me for shaving my bikini line. Right. She didn't like that. She right. was like, "Why are you doing that?" But I had seen that on my mum. Right. So I did that because I'd seen it on my mum. I mm. wasn't I wasn't doing it for boys. I didn't I didn't. You just thought that that's what you do. I had no interest in boys. Mm. Like, I didn't have my first boyfriend until I was, like, 16, Mm. you know, and and I'd I'd not even, like, kissed boys before him. Mm -hmm. It was just, I was very, very, like, yeah, it just was it wasn't for boys. I had just seen it on my mum, but then, and I remember my, like, mum would make comments about women when we were on holiday about, like, oh, look at her, like, she's not, like, shaved her bikini line or that's disgusting, like, mm. how can her husband... Like, so you've got so, all, you've got you've this got, associated kind of... Yeah. Um, yeah, like a like a, a hygiene or a, or a vanity or, a, or all of those things rolled into one. Yeah. That the culture... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's so, a, so... Go on, Aiden. So I got some. I got some statistics if you want to. Okay, go on. Then. Uh, so there's re- so research that seventy five percent people do it for comfort during oral sex. Thirty nine percent of men choose that reason. Sixty seven percent of women said they do it because they feel more feminine. Sixty three percent said they like to feel soft. Sixty two percent said their partner liked it. Okay, See, yeah. and I wonder how many of those people would tick all those boxes or several of them, do you know? Yeah. The, the feeling more... I, I understand... I mean, I say understand. From a male's point of view, I could understand why a female would want to remove hair to not feel so manly because men are hairy. Mm. That makes sense on a psychological mm. level. Yeah, I think it's just interesting that, like, if that had never have happened, would we Would we do it? Yeah. And there are strange. so many cultures in the world where they still don't. But we have... Still... given Given the tools, though, we have chosen to do it, by and large, haven't we? So we have... We have chosen to do it. Like, you know, we, we, we got the tools and we, as you say, those statistics clearly say, you know, the majority of us are are 
choosing that and preferring that yeah the the reason that it's like so big in porn as well because that exacerbates it like because obviously there was like the 70s like the porn bush and all that well, that's why i said playboy that's, initially because i know yeah, i know yeah. that when when that happened you know all of a sudden mm-hmm. everything starts to change yeah well like porn worsened it and the real reason that they started doing it in porn was to actually get like a better view of the sex yeah so of the penis and the vagina of course it made, it made the view better that was all it was you don't want it so to look it like was, you're getting a dead edge off the road do you well <laughs> for so long like it had been you know the 70s bush was like wow that's like that's the yeah. sexy thing and then it changed because people started to realize actually we can we can clearly see it now so it, it, it switched it, again and it was it's like it's all it's crazy it's crazy how influential culture is on Mm. us and on our like how seeing something on a screen again and again and again and especially because when you like watch porn it's for sexual gratification so we're back here aren't we we're back here you watch it you get sexual gratification from it then you associate that with sexy yeah and And you want to be sexy and you 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 want to be sexy men want you to be sexy and it's not even that you want to be sexy you just want to be accepted you want to be adored you want to feel all Mm. the things that you think everybody else is feeling that's really interesting and i'd just like to point out spirit father of the show one of terence mckenna famous quote that i've got on a t-shirt and he's he's actually on on this bookshelf that you can see here he's, he's on the back of this bookshelf with uncle alan culture is not your friend yeah 